Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'll be taking you guys through a highly requested video and that is my favorite products. And by my favorite products, I mean I'll be taking you through the products that I have underneath my cabinet. As y'all can see, I ain't got no ring light or all that fancy stuff. I'm literally just going to be talking about the products that I have. Mm, I don't know where to start. Mm, okay. The first one is the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Style and Shine Foaming Mousse. And I use this for perm rods or flexi rods or anything that like I'm wrapping my hair around um, like a rod and trying to get them nice defined curls. So this is a foaming mousse. And the curls are like pretty defined too. I haven't ever tried a lot of body foaming mousse, but that's what everybody says is really good. So I'm probably gonna try that next, but this is the one I use mostly. I love Shea Moisture, so I have the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Line Leave-In Conditioner. And I think this is my second time using this, buying this and using this. It's pretty, um, it's pretty thin, like it's not like a thick leave-in conditioner. But I like this line. Then I have the As I Am Coconut Co Wash, which I've only used this like two or three times, but a lot of great reviews in it on YouTube, so I got it. And I like it. Um, I don't co-wash that often, cause I don't, I don't wash or co-wash a lot, cause it just, it's just a lot of work. And every time I wash, that means whether it's cold wash or shampoo wash, that means I gotta go through a whole cycle of restyling and deep conditioning. And it's, it's just a lot, my, my hair is a lot. So we try to keep it in the same styles, let it do what it wants, and then we take out the cold wash. This is the G Two-Step Protein Moisture, Two-Step two Protein Treatment and Balancing Moisturizer. And I use this when my hair feels like weak. I don't know. Sometimes your hair just feels like it's not, like it needs help. And that's when I do the protein treatment. I don't know how to describe how my hair feels, but I know how it usually feels. And sometimes I'm like, nah, we need help. We need to, we need reinforcements. That's when you bring out the protein treatment. Uh, Eco Styler Gel, Argan Oil one. Um, I use this for like washing goes. And if I'm trying to lay my hair flat, Apply a lot of Eco Styler gel, then wrap it up and see how flat I can get my hair. The Shine and Jam. So this is a gel that my sister gave me. There's barely anything in here, but it's very thick. Can y'all see that? Yeah, it's very thick. And so this is what I use to try to lay my edges. But to be honest, guys, my edges don't lay. And I don't care what y'all want to say. I don't use the right products. I don't know how. My edges are something that you've never seen in your life because I will lay it down and 30 seconds later, it will pop right back up. But if I'm trying to make an effort, shine and jam it is. That's what kind of helps it lay down. And obviously I could use Eco Styler Gel then let it lay down with a scarf for 30 minutes, but who has 30 minutes when they're trying to lay their edges? Not me. So this is how my edges be everywhere. And I still love them. I have edges and they don't be laid down, but that's okay. You ain't gotta lay your edges, do what you want. Black girl magic, either way. I have the coconut oil Dax grease. A lot of people don't like grease, but it's actually a very good sealant. So not as good for the scalp, but good for your hair. Like if you want to do like a twist out, you can use it as like your styler or as your oil to seal it. My hair was long back in the day when my parents was using grease on my hair. My parents, like my dad did my hair. My mom was using grease <laughs> on my hair. So grease is still OG that I keep. This is my favorite deep conditioner. It's a mask. I don't know if masks and deep conditioners are different. I consider them the same thing. But it is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. And I love this thing. It smells so good. My hair just feels, it's intensively hydrated like this, like this says after I use it. So I love this. I'm probably gonna be using this deep conditioner forever. Shout out to Shea Moisture. Back to the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shea Moisture line again. This is the shampoo version of, um, of that same line. And I kind of like this. I don't know. I think I'm gonna stop buying shampoos. I'm gonna start doing a black soap, which I've done, done this before, but I don't do it consistently. I'm gonna start doing a black soap shampoo, which is pretty much black soap and water. And just use that to wash my hair. Cause this is okay, but I don't know. I haven't really found a great shampoo, so I might as well stick with something natural. 
And then we have the actual conditioner, same line, Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shea Moisture Line Conditioner. I don't condition my hair that often because I usually do the deep conditioner and then I don't condition after. But you can if you want to. This is the Cantu Moisturizing Curl Activator Cream. Um, I use this when I do my wash and goes. So I take this, the Curl Activator Cream, and I take this Eco Styler Gel, and these two together give me some defined curls but i recently found out that cantu is not black owned and as i am is actually not black owned either so i'm gonna have to switch up some of these look for different stuff to use okay and then i got these curls products for free and they're okay but i probably won't be purchasing them again because they're small they're eight ounces compared to um, Shea Moisture is each of their products are 16 ounces. This uh, Cantu is 12 ounces. So like this eight ounce for my hair is, I'm not buying some of this eight ounces because in two days it's gonna be gone. Not really, but. <laughs> um, this is the Blueberry Bliss Rep Reparative Hair Wash. This is the Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Jelly. And this is the Blueberry Bliss Reparative Leave-In Conditioner. I have never tried this. I got it for free though. It's the Blueberry Bliss Reparative Hair Mask. So when I finish the Shea Moisture Hair Mask, I will try this one. Their hair wash is, it was good. And their um, leave-in conditioner, it's good. It's a little bit thin. I feel like it doesn't work well for 4C hair type. Like if you have thinner hair, you know, mixed girl hair, if you have different type of hair than me, I think this can work well and it has good ingredients like this is all like natural stuff so it's good ingredients it's just not really for me okay and now on to oils this is my okay first of all this container is old so that's why it looks like this <laughs> this is auntie jackie's curl la la i use this for my twist outs back when my hair was literally like this short and i love this product i never bought it again but i loved it and it was cheap so i would recommend you guys get this but what's inside of here is my pre poo is there's not much in there okay yeah but it's a combination of coconut and olive oil that I use for my pre-poo and pre-poo is what you do before you shampoo so that all of your oh, natural oils are not stripped and then I have coconut oil y'all know what that looks like use this for my pre-poo as I said or whenever I want to use it so hot oil treatments I can use it for that too this inside of here is not a mega thick growth oil as it says this is a combination of like coconut, olive oil, almond oil, just a combination of oils because I use this for my hot oil treatment. And so I put the oils in here and then I heat it up and then I get that scalp good, do some hot oil treatments. Tea tree oil, which is good for your scalp if your scalp is itchy, like especially when you got cornrows, anything that your scalp is exposed, just slide it right in there and rub it in tea tree oil. I think my most used oil, Jamaican black castor oil, which it's great because it's like the same texture or the same skin. I don't know what the word is, but it's the same as like what your hair naturally produces. So it like imitates your hair almost. So I love Jamaican black castor oil and it's a thick oil too. So I feel like it works well with my hair. Jojoba oil. I use this as a sealant. So just to seal that moisture. It smells so good. I love this oil, jojoba oil. I don't know what to tell y'all about the oils. I'm just, I have oils. Extra virgin olive oil. Y'all seen this before. Uh, use it with my pre poo my hot oil treatments. Y'all know it. it's good for shine. So if you want your style to be shiny, go ahead and add some olive oil. Almond oil, another one that I like a lot. Um, I use it as a sealant. I, most of my oils I just use as a sealant, so I don't use them for that many different things. Thank you guys for watching this YouTube video. Um, this video was a lot longer than it was supposed to be. I guess I got kind of carried away on the camera, feeling myself. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Hashtag KO the comp. Hashtag shout out to Nigeria. That's the Nigerian flag if y'all didn't know. Love your hair as it is. You ain't gotta do, you ain't gotta put in nothing else to it. You ain't gotta straighten it. Love your hair as it is natural. Yes, yes. All right guys.